Hey guys, it's Sully, and I am so glad to be able to make this video after two long weeks, and everything is just happening very quickly. I just started college again, and um, I wanted to make sure everything was going to be okay. And now that that's out of the way, this video segment, <laughs> segment, this video is going to be a DIY video. I am going to do three DIYs, and there's going to be like a back to school feel because I feel that it's stuff that you can take to school and they're very cute. And um, if you don't know me, I'm Sully and you should subscribe, please. I would really appreciate it and give it a thumbs up. Okay, so now that I'm done talking, let's get into the video. Okay, guys, so let's get started. I'm going to choose this type of pattern washi tape and a light blue paper clip. So what you do is you're gonna loop it through the hole and you're gonna like bring it up a little bit, so like halfway. So then when you're going to go and fold it, you're gonna turn it a little bit over and then you're just gonna close it down and make sure they're both the same on both sides. So then so it's gonna look like that and then you're gonna snip off the access and that's how you do a bookmark now you'll never get lost whenever you're looking for something oh look here's my schedule let's paper clip it up and boom voila guys how cute is that okay guys so for my second DIY I'm going to show you how to bedazzle your pencil pouch and um, using different color studs, which is very, very cute. Okay, what you will need for this DIY is gold studs. Now, if I take it out, maybe you'll see it a little bit better. Bronze studs or any kind of color. So I just have these colors. And a plain pencil pouch. It doesn't matter, matter the color. So what you would do is open your pencil pouch and you are going to basically stab one of these in here. So let me just stab it. Sorry if I'm covering it with my finger. So when you turn it over, it's gonna look like that. And like every, it's like sticking out. So then what you would do is just push it down. And you can use something to help you with this. And so once you've done pushing it down, make sure you push it down well because you don't want to hurt yourself with the thing sticking out. And it will, and then when you finish, since I finished the other side and I just want to show you, it will look like this. So that's DIY number two. Okay guys, so for our third DIY, we are going to do real flower press phone cases, I think that's what it's called, and what you would need is a brush, Mod Podge, and pressed flowers. And I pressed them like two days ago because um, if you press them more longer like I did, I did it two weeks, they're gonna die, okay? Like legit dead flowers. So what you do is you're gonna use a tweezer, something that you're not gonna use anymore. And you're gonna like gently pick them up and I'm so scared so pick them up <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna get some Mod Podge okay and you just wanna brush it on and you know it's gonna like go clear or whatever so I'm going to start with this one because I think I know what kind of pattern I want. So we're going to put that here and it's going to, sorry guys, I don't have any examples. I'm just doing this like firsthand. So let me just make sure I montage it all the way on because you don't want it to bother you. So there's one. Oh. I've done a pattern already and um, the Mod Podge has like dry clear here which is really cute and you can see how it's taking form and the great thing about this DIY is that 
you can make as many patterns as you want and you can use any color case you would like as well so i am going to try to finish this phone case which is going to look amazing and i am sure that my sister is going to rock it because this is for her phone so this is the finished product i basically did a little cute pattern um pinks white and purple and it's still drying a little bit over here but as you can see all the munch parch has dried and it looks very cute and um imagine how it would look like with different color phone cases very cute you can also purchase dried flowers that are pressed already online on etsy and i'm not sure how much they cost but i did look for some but i decided just to do it myself that way it doesn't cost anything guys so this is a life hack and a diy which is like really easy to do it's for your headphones and i think it's so efficient so this is how we do it so you will always need your headphones and clips which any design is very cute or you can just use a plain color so you're going to straighten out your headphones and some of you might know this already so you're going to clip two of the ears and then you're going to close this up and all you're going to do is roll it until you come to the end so i'm going to keep rolling this <laughs> Okay guys, so this concludes my DIY video and um, instead of doing three, I kind of did four, but I say three because the last one is just a little mini, you know, a little mini DIY and a life hack like I said before. And thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye!